us to learn more about total knee replacement itself. Through this workshop, we are actually shown about the operation, how it actually goes when we don't get to go to OT and see it like first. <laughs> it's a good yeah. thing, a good experience actually. It's Basically, the, the idea of this workshop is to train the, the, the junior surgeons and also expose the students to what total knee replacement is all about. And bringing a very renowned surgeon like uh, my friend Dr. Rami Sorin is to give you all an exposure how the Australian would think. So you don't have to go to Australia to learn, but you can be here and still learn. And I think this is the best time for you all to actually ask questions and learn something because he's got a vast experience and I'm sure you've been, you all have been exposed to a lot of Malaysian surgeons. So you may only think that, oh, this is how the Malaysians will think like and I wouldn't know how the Australians think. So today you get a chance to see both sides of the paradigm. Yeah, hi, I'm Rami Sorrell surgeon from Sydney in Australia and I was invited over here to be part of this workshop by Dada Rasan Sanadero to participate and help teach um, other orthopedic surgeons, trainees and other staff some of the techniques of total knee replacement. This is a uh, university that I'm not familiar with, it's my first time in Malaysia so it was um, quite interesting to come over here and um, help Rasan with this demonstration practical workshop. Well, this is a one-day workshop uh, that involves presentation of didactic material, um, incorporating really the basics of total knee replacement, uh, including anatomy, the kinematics, the biomechanics of knee uh, function as well as the kinematics and biomechanics of arthroplasty as well as the techniques, the surgical approaches um, and the selection of patients, selection of implants and some of the complications including live video streaming of these procedures and then really terminating with this workshop here in the cadaver lab to demonstrate the techniques that were discussed during the didactic presentation and subsequently after demonstrating the technique giving the candidates themselves or the delegates an opportunity to get involved and do some of their own work on the cadaver specimens themselves. So you don't want to overdo the posterior slope. And if you're using a mobile bearing implant, you want to almost cut a neutral position because if you impinge, you may risk spin out. So there are a number of features based on your population. I must say I was quite surprised by uh, the level of interaction after each of the didactic presentations. There was certainly a high level of interest and you can always gauge the level of interest from the amount of questions that are asked in question time. And there was certainly a good going question time for at least 30 to 40 minutes indicating the level of interest from the delegates at the meeting. The other thing that you risk is infection and union between allograph and uh, post autograph. That's something that you have to address. Right. So uh, it's more to it than just uh, using a but then again, uh, this is the time where you actually ask the questions so that you don't make mistakes when you're doing your practice. Like we always say, you learn from others' mistakes and not from your own. And this will probably be the best thing to do.
we've started totally replacement in this country for almost 20 years now and uh, yeah so we're coming to about yeah coming to about 20 years and of course initially uh, the uh, the the exposure of total knee was not so much but of course now with more surgeons more orthopedic surgeons in the public sector as well as in the private sector once you're in, remember you've got a valve angle, you've got to find the shaft of the femur, keep two planes in mind. That is the medial lateral plane and your posterior plane. Don't push the drill. Let it find a sudden wave. Let it go this way, find a sudden wave in the femur. Most of the patients who come, like we had the class earlier, patients with pain, knee pain and uh, arthritic pain because of, of the joints. And these are patients who are, who are not able to carry on with work because of the pain. So therefore, by doing a total knee replacement, we actually give them a new lease of life, you know, with mobility and pain-free life. And I think that's exactly what we want. So we're on the left side, having five degrees, Valgus distal cut. So you got show, show the valgus there. Yeah. Focus on that. Now up here with my fingers. Higher, higher, higher. That's right. There. It's the left side, nine degrees in the box. Now up here. Millimeters. Nine millimeters. Nine millimeters. We've got rotation point. Valid, valid. Thank you. 
and got a useful extension. Collateral is still intact. We haven't damaged them. We've gotten rid of the crucial. So theoretically you've been cut off. My principal specialty is joint replacement surgery with a subspecialty interest in hip replacement and knee replacement and we've been involved in joint replacement surgery for over 15 years. That involves um, a private practice, a public practice, but I also get involved in medical student education at Sydney University as well as education at Macquarie University and I also travel a fair bit and involved in education in the whole Southeast Asia area. University is quite a big facility, it's a very impressive campus, obviously a new facility, it's young, it's only 10 years old, um, with a focus on medical education. Certainly the facility in this laboratory here with a cadaver workshop and availability of cadavers means that you can actually demonstrate procedures um, on tissues that are akin to live surgery but without the obvious difficulties that you can um, encounter during a life surgical procedure and the complications therein. So this is a fairly off-site um, means of teaching how to demonstrate a total knee replacement to people who can become more involved without having a patient involved. It's a good thing to learn. The cadaveric workshop is very forgiving because whatever you do, it's the, the cadaver is not going to complain. So it's a very forgiving workshop. Oh, I think this, the surgeons perform very well because you see, as you can see, they're all busy uh, with their hands on. And uh, of course, the, even the local faculty members and also the senior students, I think you all have done very well. I'm Roy from uh, the Pilsen uh, I'm from the orthopedic department of, from, from the company, company where I've been working with uh, Dr. Watson for quite some time already and this is the first time we are doing it in locally. But most of the time in my company usually we organize this cadaver workshop overseas but I'm really happy to see that we are able to do it in Malaysia itself. Okay. And I see the response from all the students here. They are really keen to learn and it's very good that we get involved in uh, Ames University for this, this event. And then I also would like to thank uh, Dr. Watson for giving me this opportunity to work together with him to organize this. And I hope that you know, in future we will be able to have more workshops together. And to we'll see more and more students will be benefit from this kind of events. As for me, I get to know what is this whole surgery about, especially the total knee replacement. Because before this, I haven't seen it anywhere. So this is like my first time I've seen it live here in Ames and also hands on over there. Hmm. I think it's very beneficial and I think they should organize more in future this kind of workshop.